Yahoo and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara and as you can see I am dressed in a bright orange today which means we are going to talk about the new Ivy Park X Adidas summer capsule collection which was called Flex Park. If that sounds interesting to you keep watching. The park became a state of mind. The park became my strength. The park is what made me who I am. Where's your park? As I said in the intro of this video, and as you can see by the bright orange that I'm wearing today, we are going to talk about the Ivory Park X Adidas Summer Capsule Collection, which was called Flex Park. The collection was actually announced shortly before it dropped, um, per usual, and it was sold on the Adidas website and also the app as per usual on Thursday the 22nd of July and in some stores and also at some retail websites on the 23rd on Friday. I am actually an Icon member, like an Icon level Adidas shopper. <laughs> so that means that I basically get early access to collections and stuff like that. That also means that I have spent a lot of money on the Adidas app and website due to the older collections. And uh, yeah, that's basically how I always get my drip. <laughs> In Germany, it's actually quite easy or easier to get the collection pieces than in the US. In the US, especially this time, it was a whole mess. The app crashed immediately after the pre-sale started, which is usually two hours before the regular sale on the app and the website. And uh, it totally crashed for, I think, 30 or 45 minutes. People were not able to get their orders through and to order stuff. It was crazy. And I'm always thankful that I am here in Germany, where the collections like the releases are also kind of stressful sometimes or most of the times but it was not as bad this time due to the pre-sale i was able to get like the bikini top that i wanted um also the slides and the bikini bottoms no not the bikini bottoms the um the men's bottoms that I wanted because like I said in my previous videos I have a big butt so I was not sure about the cut of the bikini bottoms and real talk now I was honestly a little bit confused by the pricing of this collection because girl let's be honest how is it okay to charge 65 bucks for a bikini bottom, 65 additional bucks for a bikini top, which is a total of 130 bucks for a swimsuit bikini or whatever you want to call it. And then on the other hand, you have a total like bathing suit thing, which is the same price, 65 bucks. Like, how is that okay? And we need to talk about the not really available variety for the guys like there was just one swim shorts what's up with that i know a lot of guys were kind of disappointed by this collection because there was basically nothing for the guys and we women we had several pieces to mix and match and to create different like outfits and i just don't understand it i just don't and um i honestly have to say i bought the bikini top and bottom, the corset one, and the high cut bikini bottom. Um, and I have to say, I am thinking about sending them back because 130 bucks for a complete set of a bikini is too much. I'm sorry. I have bathing suits that are in black that I like a lot. They also have like mesh parts and stuff. Very cute. So I actually think about keeping the swim shorts for the guys and wear my existing bathing suit together with this cover up. And that's a cute look as well. So I think I don't need to keep a 130 bucks bikini. 
basically yeah that's my little rant about the pricing and the non-existent variety for the guys i think it's not fair and i also know that just a couple of days after she released the summer capsule collection flex park they also announced a new collection coming in august you have to you know give us time to collect our coins b that's not enough time and i don't know what's the reason behind that i don't know if it's because you think that because flex park was a smaller collection that it's okay to drop immediately a month later a big huge fall collection as far as i know and to me that's kind of too much and i know i don't have to complain and i know that i don't have to buy the things but the thing is i would like to if there are pieces and color schemes that i like then i would like to get the pieces and i think it's not okay to like drop them in such a short amount of time i guess what i have to say is these pictures were a little bit overexposed and i tried to like save them as good as i could with adjusting the colors and stuff like that but honestly this neon orange is very difficult to record or to take pictures with i do hope that this video while i'm filming this and it looks okay in my um like camera uh display i hope that it does okay in the editing software that i'm using as well because neon colors i know that from my nail polish blog and from my nail polish videos are very difficult to get right basically and to capture right so i just hope that everything works out so first up we have my look for the little video that I will show at the end of this video. I am wearing my cycling shorts from the first Ivy Park drip as well as my slides. I also combined it with the belt from the drip one, the orange one. And I'm also wearing the cover up as you can see and under it I'm wearing the bathing top, the corset top. And I think it's quite cute, <clears throat> like I said before, but I was not willing to pay 65 bucks for just a top, so I think I'm going to send it back. I do have a picture for you where I'm wearing the whole set. Like I said, it's a little bit overexposed and that's why I'm not really happy with the picture. I still wanted to share it with you and um, show you basically how it kind of looked on me, even though it's partially covered by the cover up. So I hope you can still see what it looked like. Anyways, um, let's get on to the next picture. I took a set of three pictures which I'm kind of happy with. Um, I'm sitting down or like not kneeling, but like I'm down. <laughs> I'm down, 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 down. Um, anyways, you can see the poses that I'm doing. Like I said, I'm sitting down, I'm wearing the bikini, I'm wearing the cover up. You can see what I'm doing over there. And yeah, I'm actually quite happy with the way this color looks on me um ever since drip one i was begging for more pieces in this color and i have to say it is almost a 100 percent match almost it's may maybe like 98 percent a match some pieces of those i think it depends on the fabric are a little bit darker for example this piece is a little bit darker than the original orange from drip one i would like to talk about the favorites of this collection my favorites of this collection which are first up this cute little water bottle moment um it's good quality I have to say and I love the lid I love that it has a little hook so you can carry it I did attach this little hooky thing this one was actually attached to the smaller bag which is included in the big beach bag but I think it's a nice little hook to like carry your <laughs> water bottle the strap that was attached to the water bottle actually I attached to my mini bag which i am very excited about because when i saw 
that they would release this big one on my left side. I thought, oh, this would be a cute bag to combine with my Drip One and it would be a nice bag for summer, for work. Then I realized how huge this is. I thought, okay, yeah, it's a beach bag. That's why it's so big. It's meant to fit like your big towel and, and other things like that. So I'm not sure if I can use it as a work bag. I think it's still okay to do that, but but what I was even more happy about was when I saw that this big bag also included this little baby because I was actually quite sad that I didn't have a good sized bag to combine with my Drip One with the maroon color. It's a little bit see-through but it's not too much see-through which I like and it's just cute. It has a lot of details. We have the monogram here on the back. We have the Ivy Park like written on the fabric. We also have cute little details here on the zipper and we also have the Ivy Park here on the hook and on the other hook here as well. What I did like was also that these hooks are silver and if you check the water bottle the hook is actually orange which is quite cute as well and actually the way these bags arrived were this little hooky was attached to this bag it has a little loop here on the end and I think they just meant for you to carry it like this, you know, the bag, not the water bottle, which I didn't really like <clears throat> and I think it's not really like comfortable to carry it this way. So that's why I used the longer strap from the big bag and that's why I attached it to this little baggie. I think it's more cute. I think it's easier to carry. I wish they would have attached the same little hook fabric thingy on the other side because then you would definitely have the opportunity to hook it in here. I just attached it to this little thingy here so I don't know. It's just I think it's a good sized bag. I think it's a great way to carry all your things, belongings and stuff like that. And another favorite of mine which I actually wasn't too sure if I should get it was these bright plateau neon slides. They are actually very heavy first of all and second of all they are very comfortable I have to say. I ordered them because I wanted to try them and to get a feel for them and to see if they would be comfortable and like I said they are very comfortable so that's why I decided to keep them. But one thing that I have to say that is kind of bothering me is the writing on the front. The ivy is much bigger than the park. Who made this decision? I know ivy is just three letters and park is four letters, but you should have made it the same size. It's kind of bothering me, I have to say. And you can't even really see the P and the K like totally. So I think it would have been much more cute if they would have just made it a little bit smaller and then, you know, so that we could actually see the writing on the front. But that's just my two cents. I also got, like I said, the big bag and I also got the towel, which you can't really see now. The towel is huge. It's basically a blanket. It's basically a carpet. <laughs> I have to say I will definitely not use this at the beach because I would be afraid for people to steal it. So I'm going to use it here at home as a normal like shower uh, towel. And uh, yeah, for today I am at the end of this video. All I have for you now is this little video that I created for Instagram. I hope you enjoy it. When I dance on that demon time, she might start her only fans. Big B and that B stand for bands. If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop a load of this wine. Text us up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be popping my friend, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype, write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Got this shit from Tina. Left cheek, right cheek. Please don't give me hype. Left cheek, right cheek. Write my name in ice. 
So yeah, guys, what do you say? That was my little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below. Head over to Instagram as well. Like my pictures, follow me there and comment on my pictures and my reel there. Um, I would be very happy to see you over there. And uh, for today, I guess that's it. That's all about my Flex Park and this beautiful orange color. <laughs> And I hope you have a wonderful week and a nice summer, a nice and bright summer, basically. And I will see you in my next video. Stay real, keep it real, and bye-bye.